Hey, this is Chuck from Monococ Metalworks. When we last left off, we had pretty much finished up the fitting of the metal panels. We've got the tail all done and we've got the sills on. And now it's time to fit up these aluminum oversized rear wings. And they pretty much meet up, if you just kind of look here, they kind of meet up with the factory sill and then kind of the factory rear lower valance panels, but then they flare out on the side like that. And of course, this one flares out a little more than it should because of the accident itself. And then this one here is a little mangled up. And probably one of the bigger issues is I've got all this junk on the bottom. This is panel bonding, and then this is a mat, I'm sure, to keep stones from denting the aluminum outward. That's something you gotta worry about on an aluminum race car. And then there's some foam that was filling in the inner wheel arch before. So we've gotta get this all out of here so I can do some hammer and dolly work, maybe put these in the English wheel a little bit, and just straighten them out. But I don't think that's gonna be too tough but I probably do have a couple hours of scraping and burning and all of that. So let's go ahead and get to that and then get back when these are cleaned up. All right, I'm a little embarrassed to say how long it took to get these clean, but they are clean. And it might look like I did a little overkill on it, and maybe that's true, but I cannot hammer and dolly an English wheel on an eight inch thick sound deadening mat. And then all this junk in here needed to come off to be re-glued. So they are both crystal clear now. And it also gives me a better look at exactly what the dents are and where they are. It's funny, this one, this little dent here, Looks like some previous racing accident that just got hammered out. So anyway, now it's time to go ahead and smooth these out. I'll start with a dolly and a slapper. I'll actually probably start the heavy stuff with a rubber mallet hitting in here. Again, I want to move the metal and not stretch it. And so let's see what we can come up with. Okay, well, here's what I came up with. I took that other video yesterday, uh, right around lunchtime, and I had intended to just start some of this dolly and slapper work here, and then show you a video about how well that was going and everything. But after I did a little bit, I started, I thought, you know, let's, let's see how this is starting to fit. And I held it up here, and then the work just kind of took over. And the next thing you know, it was an eight hour session of just hammering and dolling and fitting the wings. Uh, I'm running out of time here too. So I was feeling the time constraint. So as you can see, they are fitting pretty well. And I, I apologize for the mess. When this car's done, I'll probably clean the whole place, but you can see how this wing kind of, it's an interesting flare. It just kind of sticks out like that and not exactly sure what was going on here. I think that this, this little wired edge was kind of crimped around this a little bit, but what I've decided to do is cut this factory piece off. See, I've got a lot sticking up. I'm gonna cut it off with just like a one inch lip and I'm gonna cut some of this um, flange out and I'm just gonna bring this, this steel out to meet this and make this just flush. And then over here, I got some pictures and talked to Brian on the phone and everything about what this looks like. And basically this was just tucked in here in this factory flange so I don't have to do anything fancy with the sills, although I do, unfortunately, these don't come all the way down to here, and they never did. So I'm gonna go ahead today and put the sills in. I'm gonna pull them off, get a bunch of primer in there, get it all sealed up, put the sills in, and just get that done. So then we're just working on this. Now, I had measurements from the sister car, and it seems like maybe it has a little more uh, clearance than this one 
And so we're not out quite as far, but we compared notes last night, and I think we're going to be okay. This wing fits great, and it's smoothed out. I've got a little more uh, dolly and slapper work to do right here, and then I'm just going to go over this lightly with the English wheel and probably a shrinking disc just to try to smooth things out a little bit. This one over here, I had a lot more trouble with. And even though this is the side that did not take the accident as hard, the wing, this was the wing that had the big buckle in the center of it. So I got the work done on that. Also with the way this needed to line up here to just kind of fade right into there. And see now this I've got detached because I'm gonna make some changes this morning. Um, but see, I'm gonna kind of go like that, yeah. To get it like that, I had to move the whole thing up about three eighths of an inch. The whole thing wanted to go that way, which the wings aren't exactly the same. And so with this distance here and back there and all, I determined that this wing was sitting back a little farther anyway. And then this one just kind of fights you more. It is a little trickier to get onto there. That The other one kind of falls into place and you put the Clecos in. And this is an example where the Clecos are great because they've been in and out a hundred times <laughs> yesterday. Um, but this one, you got to do a little more twisting and maybe I'll try to work on that some too. But I've got the shape pretty much back on this one. So that's where we are. I'm sorry I didn't film any of that. Again, I'm here by myself and... Um, it was just getting crazy, to be honest. It never even occurred to me to film. So that was about eight hours of work. So I'm going to kind of take a step back, clean up a little bit, get the sills fully on. That'll probably take me most of the day today. There's combination of MIG welding and spot welding and maybe a little plug welding. And then there's also the issue of getting the uh, front closing panels on and there's the brackets that go across here and then this actually gets a big cut out for the exhaust to come out and then there's some side pipes so I got to do all of that too see like here I want to go ahead and spot weld so I got to strip this paint off um, I'm going to be spot welding here so I got to strip the paint off along here so that's my day for today. <clears throat> I probably will take some videos of that and stick them on the Sill movie. I'm several movies behind right now in posting. I'm just trying to get this car done. So when I get back in the next video, the Sills will be all done. And then we'll be back to goofing around with this. We're almost there. One more thing. This is all the tools that I've pulled off from around and under and on the car and have just thrown on this bench and now they'll all get put away. That's kind of how I do it. First, I throw them all in the big pile. Then I come along and put them all away. I, I must have done this 50 times so far during this project. Usually have to do it at least twice a day. So anyway, I just thought I would show you that too, just to keep it all real. Okay, I'm really having a tough time remembering the video. Um, I'm just working so hard and so fast now. But anyway, that is tucked in. You can see I welded a little piece up in there. I don't know how dark it is in there, but there you can see the little piece up in there. Um, and it's all painted behind it. It almost, I almost wonder if this used to go down onto the sill and somebody cut it short a little bit. But anyway, we just had to add that little bit. And then back here, it was painful, but I cut the top of that uh, rear lower valance off. And then what I did was I cut this section of the flange out because this used to go kind of up, up this way some. And so I wanted to just take this and, and you know, it used to kind of curve up in that way but I wanted to bend it out a little bit to try to get a nice smooth flow between these two. And that looks pretty good. And again, this is gonna have filler on it. So that is welded in there. You can see I was able to, 
as I, I had this mark here, but then as I pulled everything outward, it, um, it you know, it kind of shifted down. So I had to weld up these little holes and put some new ones in. But anyway, it also gave me just a teensy bit more wheel clearance. So now I'm going to pull this off and dress that up a little bit. And um, then uh, I guess we're done this side for fitting the wing. The other side's a little trickier. I think I got to put some shape into it with the English wheel. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's what we've got. The, the wing fitting is all done on this side. And all I've got to do now is just a final little bit of smoothing on this wing. And then we've got to build these inner pieces. And I'm going to build a piece that mates to this. And a piece that mates to this. And a piece that mates to this. And here's what we got here on the bottom. See, this is all dressed up now. So it looks just nice. And it's just pulled out a little bit. Um, I don't know, maybe a half inch at the top there. But, you know, it's the same. You can see the little, whoops, you can see the little well mark right there. It's the same right there. So maybe out here it's out just about half an inch. So that's what we got. And now we got to do the other side. Okay, it's time to mess around with this side. Now, I've already had this wing all fitted up, but I wanna try to get a better fit because these need to be uh, glued down with the panel bonding and I, and, you know, they're gonna be riveted. And see, I've already got, uh, see, I've already got the, these holes all lined up, but it really just doesn't want to be there. See, it wants to be down, it wants to be out here. And so I've done just the initial hammer and slap, or well, dolly and slapper work here. You can see I just ran it through an English reel real quick that way. Um, but I think I need to do some English wheeling in this direction, and that will give me more curve this way, and it should just bring this right in. But sometimes it doesn't quite do what you want. So I'm just going to mess around with that a little bit and see if I can get a better just kind of lay on here before we go any further. So let's let's see what I can do with that. All right, we're getting somewhere. It didn't need shaping. It needed shrinking. And I I knew that there was there was stretch in here and it was wiggly and it's still a little wiggly. But as you can see, by shrinking this down a little bit, it seems counterintuitive, but it, it, just, it just dropped that right into place. And I can actually get this, this Clico in there, but I think a couple of these are gonna need to be redone. And I had to move this whole wing up about 3 8 of an inch to fit the wheel arch. So that's why that antenna hole, this is for the two-way radio for the drivers. So anyway, she's good now. Now I'm gonna try to do just a little smoothing in here, sand it down, and then we will be good, I think. All right. Okay, I got it. It's all tucked in there and it's a nice smooth fit. I've got the clearance I need for the tire. I'm just feathered in here so nicely. And then the angle here is good too. It's just kind of nice like that. You can see I've got this trimmed off back here. I've got one inch all the way around. And you can see as I've been moving this thing, it, this is my first shot and then this is my second shot. And then this line over here is when I grabbed these two and pulled them out. So that kind of went like this as it came out. And then I got that next line. I've got all my Clecos in there. This is nice and smooth. I need to sand it down now and just scuff it. And we are good. There's like maybe a little dent there that I'll mess with. And just so you guys can see what it's really like, there's all the tools all over the floor. Um, I probably should have like a little rolling cart, but I'm a guy where I, 
I seem to work, and then when I'm done with a tool, I guess I just let go of it. And it, so after a couple hours, there's just tools everywhere. But I can't stand the mess, so every couple of hours, I pick it all up. We call that a reset. So anyway, these are all mounted. Now I've got to get up in there and do some closing panels.